morning everybody my name's Tyler and I own that pile of goodness and I'm gonna do what I've said I was going to do for about two and a half years now and I'm actually just gonna give you a full walk around so this here is my 1985 Toyota pickup single cab short bed four-wheel drive who has become known as Amelia. Bought her off the original owner with 64,000 miles on it. And while I did think about giving it to a museum, I decided to just buckle down and use it. In under two and a half years, I have uh, put, I think, 70,000 miles on it. Um, I use the shit out of it. I drive it everywhere. This truck has been all over the place. And I love it. So let's do a quick rundown of everything I've done to it. So it's bone stock other than some 31,050 Yokohama Geolanders, a set of these neat little helper springs to help with the weight of the camper, and then some Bilstein. 4600s which are just the uh 5100s for stock height trucks and then we'll get to the camper later on the inside that's locked because i was going to go for a hike stand by on the inside we have i think these are the deluxe door panels i'm not sure they're not stock. This one originally came with the three quarter door panel. Um, and most notably, bucket seats and center console. So these seats are out of an 83 Tercel four wheel drive wagon. And then that is a Jeep YJ center console. Um, aside from that, we have aftermarket water temp, the eBay dash cover, just a cheapo pioneer head unit with some four inch kickers in the dash which i really need to upgrade because this thing needs more audio desperately but that's the interior and coming up front we have hardcore lighting uh ditch lights and then some hardcore lighting lights on the bumper i think i might swap these out for some smaller round ones because i personally feel like these kind of make it look like a cop car like the strobes on the bull bar uh so i might be changing that and then the keeper 9500 pound synthetic line winch oh and the bumper itself uh this is half custom so this is a period correct smitty built two bumper that a friend of mine gave me, which me and another friend of mine had to modify. We chopped it down the middle and welded it to a trail gear winch plate. So you could see that there. This is actually gonna be getting redone here in not too long. And then working our way around. This is going to get its own video because there's so much going on here we'll do a separate video for this long story short this is all custom a design that we found on pinterest of all places that uh my girlfriend's uncle built for us but that's a whole nother thing that we'll set up eventually On the outside, really, the only other modification is the camper, which I had custom built by USA Camper Shells in Montclair, California. And then attached to the canoe rack is a front runner awning. That was a game changer. And that's it for modifications. It's a stock truck at the end of the day. Stock gears, no lockers. Um, have had to do a considerable amount of mechanical work. 
So starting here, we did front axle rebuild with the full, I think it's low range off-road rebuild kit thing with the backing plate eliminators and what else did that do? The rubber wiper seals, which are apparently now leaking again. Um, and yeah, we did that rebuild at the same time as the second motor rebuild. I've had to, I've had this motor basically out twice now. So let's take a look at that. So here is all 90 something horsepower that attempts to push this thing down the road. Um, this is, bought the truck. Here's it in a nutshell. Bought the truck, motor ran great. Turns out after driving it to Utah and back, um, after chasing down a funny idle for four days, we did a compression test and it was running on one and a half cylinders. So we pulled that out, me and my good buddies, pulled that long block out, put a long block in that was built by some shop in Marino Valley, California. Well, that had compression and ran great, but it burned a quart of oil every 120 miles. So that's when I had to tear it apart myself and I cracked it open, re-ringed it. Turns out the piston rings on the number four cylinder were, the gaps were perfectly lined up. So oil was uh, just kind of shooting past that. And I re-ringed it, did new rod bearings, and uh, had the head inspected. They said it was good. So I slapped it all back together, and it runs fantastic. I think it has, last time I checked, it had 190 compression in all four. But now it's still burning oil, and I'm suspecting the top end because... We didn't actually touch that. We just had a shop say it's okay. And well, it turns out it wasn't the best shop in the world. So that has to come out again. So yes, this is a Toyota called Amelia, my 1985 Toyota pickup adventure rig. So yes, this is gonna be kind of an intro to the YouTube channel. Um, this is the truck that it's gonna be based around. We're gonna do all sorts of fun things, beer reviews and gear reviews and adventures and getting stuck and catching on fire and it's gonna be great. Fun fact, this slope is actually the one place in the world I have seen bighorn sheep. A few years ago, they were kind of hanging out on that flat there. Haven't seen them since. Haven't seen any anywhere. And I lived full-time in the woods for a while. <laughs>